Tottenham Hotspur head coach Antonio Conte on going back to the bridge and eyeing trophies at Tottenham. Reports are stating that Joe Roden could be sold in the January transfer window for £20 million. A pundit is questioning Deli Ali's hunger. Another loan deal being lined up for striker Keon Otet. And reports are stating that Wolverhampton Wanderers want Matt Doherty back. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the transfer news, rumours and reports. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. So let's start today's video by talking about a report from HITC all about Tottenham Hotspur defender Joe Roden. They are stating that Tottenham Hotspur are now willing to sell defender for £20 million. Tottenham Hotspur are willing to sell reported Newcastle United January transfer target Joe Roden for £20 million according to CBS Sports. CBS Sports are reporting that Newcastle United want to sign Joe Roden, but they do not want to pay what Tottenham want and are now looking for a loan deal. Brighton and Hove Albion are also reportedly interested in Joe Roden and want a permanent transfer in January. Now, my thoughts on the Joe Roden situation, I wouldn't be at all surprised if we ended up seeing Joe Roden leave Spurs, uh, either on loan or permanently in this January transfer window, or indeed at the end of this season, uh, because let's face it, under various managers now at Tottenham Hotspur, um, he just doesn't seem to be in the mix you know, when we need a central defender to come in, he doesn't really seem to get game time. He's playing more for his country, Wales at the moment, than he is Tottenham Hotspur. Former Premier League star, now TV and radio pundit Chris Sutton has been talking to BBC Radio 5 Live all about Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Deli Alli. And he said, I think Deli Alli's days are numbered in regards to his Tottenham Hotspur career. I don't know whether he has lost his hunger. Now, my opinion on this, very quickly, um, I wouldn't be at all surprised again if Deli Alli ended up moving uh, either out on loan or a permanent transfer in the January transfer window or at the end of the season. Probably it would be a loan, uh, you know, to try and get the best out of him at another club, you know, from January until the end of the season. And then I think that Tottenham Hotspur may look to sell him on in the summer and get more money. A report has just been published by the Football Insider and they are stating that Wolverhampton Wanderers have submitted a bid for Tottenham star Matt Doherty as talks were held today. Wolves have submitted a bid for Tottenham defender Matt Doherty as they look to re-sign him this month. The right-back 29 has struggled for game time at Spurs this season and failed to start a single Premier League game. The report states that Wolves are very keen to secure the return of the player that they sold to Tottenham Hotspur in the summer of 2020. Matt Doherty has 594 minutes of first team action this season, but none of his six starts among 10 appearances have come in the Premier League. He joined 18 months ago in a £16 million deal, but struggled to live up to expectations. Matt Doherty played the best football of his career at Wolves and was their third top goal scorer with seven goals in the 2019-2020 season, as well as supplying five assists. He has not reached those heights at Spurs with his 39 matches yielding four assists and no goals so far. Lastly, in this report, it says that Wolves want Matt Doherty to provide competition for Nelson Semedo, who was signed in September 2020 to replace the Irishman when he left for Tottenham Hotspur. 
Now, in my honest opinion, I don't see that Matt Doherty is going to get any game time under Antonio Conte in this Tottenham Hotspur team. Um, Antonio Conte will be looking to really improve this starting eleven, really improve this squad. And I don't think that Matt Doherty is any part of those plans whatsoever. Um, yes, he was a very, very good player at Wolves. I think that Matt Doherty, for his own sake, needs to move on in this January transfer window. Tottenham Hotspur head coach Antonio Conte has been speaking ahead of tomorrow night's game against Chelsea in the Carabao Cup semi-final first leg. Of course, he managed Chelsea for two seasons. He won them the league in his first season in charge, won them the FA Cup in his second season and was then dismissed in July 2018. Antonio Conte has come out and said he has nothing to prove going back to Stamford Bridge uh, and said, I created a good relationship with players, staff and people who work at Chelsea. We did a really good job and I think in my position, I mustn't prove anything to anyone. I'm a manager that has experience and continues to have experience in my career and do important jobs at other teams. He then went on to say, it will be a pleasure for me to come back to Stamford Bridge because I spent two important seasons with Chelsea and left a lot of good relationships with the players who continue to play for the club. It will be good for me to see them. Antonio Conte then went on to talk about possibly winning trophies at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. He said it's always very important to win trophies for the club, for the players, for the managers. On one hand, I have to say this. On the other, you have to build to win trophies. You can't win trophies by speaking and saying you want to win. You have to build something at this moment. Chelsea is more ready than us to win. They won the Champions League last season. While we have a lot of space for improvement, to be a team with aspirations to win. For sure, we'll do everything to reach the final of this trophy. But I repeat, to use the verb to win is more simple than winning because you win to have to build something important. Be solid, have an important squad. Then you're ready to win. Otherwise, you have to hope. Hope in the work you're doing and hope to do something outstanding. Now, my thoughts on this, um, if you watch this channel on a regular basis, you will know that I absolutely love Antonio Conte. I have loved this appointment. I have loved the last two months, the way he has transformed this team. Um, yes, this squad still has limitations, but he has worked with every single player, has improved every single player and has delivered results, you know, certainly in the league games. Eight league games unbeaten, becoming the first ever manager in the club's history uh, to achieve that in his first eight games. And we have seen the transformation. And, uh, you know, if there's anyone out there at the moment who is going to deliver a, a trophy at Tottenham Hotspur, it is Antonio Conte. Conte in his playing days, extremely successful. Conte as a manager in his managerial career, uh, you know, extremely successful. Won the league into Milan last year. Uh, and as I said earlier, um, you know, won the league in his first season at Chelsea in the Premier League. Uh, won the FA Cup in his second season at Chelsea and then they sacked him. Um, I am really, really excited about uh, you know 2022, and I just think that this might be Tottenham Hotspur's year. Um, you know, if Tottenham can get a couple of transfers over the line in this January transfer window, um, you know, you never ever know. But you know, this League Cup against Chelsea, you know, the first leg in the semi-final taking place tomorrow, this is a real great opportunity for us. And all joking aside, I know I talk about trophies a lot on this channel, day in, day out. If I don't mention the word trophy, it would be a rarity. Um, but, you know, we are way overdue trophies. Antonio Conte knows this. Our last trophy was 2008 when we beat Chelsea in the League Cup final. And, uh, you know, 14 years, you know, coming up in March, 14 years since our last trophy. It is just unbelievable. But as I keep saying, Antonio Conte, I'm sure, will deliver at Spurs if he is backed in the right way. A report was published earlier by the Evening Standard and they are stating that Spurs are still waiting on possible COVID-19 cases before Chelsea tie as club hope to avoid another outbreak. In the report, it says that Tottenham are still waiting on possible COVID-19 cases in Antonio Conte's squad. Conte yesterday revealed that the club were waiting for the results of follow-up PCR tests on two players, which are expected today, with the club hoping to avoid another outbreak in the squad. Premier League players currently taking daily lateral flow tests with any positives confirmed by PCR tests which give a more accurate reading. The two individuals concerned are believed to include one of Conte's key players missed training today, but the head coach remains hopeful they could be involved in the Carabao Cup semi-final first leg tomorrow night.
Now, my opinion on this, obviously hoping and praying that everything is okay with the Tottenham Hotspur squad and Antonio Conte has a full squad to choose from. We know that two players are out injured at the moment, Ryan Sessegnon and Steven Bergwijn. So hopefully Antonio Conte has all of the other players available for the clash at Stamford Bridge. A report has just been published by Gloucestershire Live and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur forward set for loan switch to Cheltenham Town after Northampton Town spell. Front end of the team to be strengthened during the January transfer window. Cheltenham Town are lining up a move for Tottenham Hotspur prospect Keon Atet. The tall 20-year-old forward has spent the first half of the season on loan at League Two promotion chasers Northampton Town, scoring six times in 20 starts across all competitions. And according to reports, he has now been recalled by Spurs and he's now destined to step up to League One level with Cheltenham for the rest of the 2021-2022 campaign. This report then states that Michael Duff revealed on Saturday that a new signing was due in next Monday due to recovering from a minor injury and that is likely to be Keon Atet. He joined Spurs from Notts County in the summer of 2019 after a successful trial period with the Premier League club. Thanks Chris and hello to everybody watching. I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly Spurs prizes that we run on the site. Some of our previous Spurs prizes range from the likes of signed shirts and boots and mounts from players such as Harry Kane, Son Hyun Min and Lucas, right through to club legends like Paul Gascoigne and Jurgen Klinsmann. You can watch the live draws on our Facebook page and you can go on our site and see the previous Spurs winners as well as what prizes we have to offer at www.footballprizes.co.uk. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. We are now very close to 63,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for all of your support. And also click that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. Enjoy the rest of your week. Let's hope that Tottenham Hotspur get the win at Stamford Bridge tomorrow. Until the next video, stay safe and well. Come on you Spurs.